In this lesson, we are going to do some conversions. We're going to take um, something in kind of the US measurements and we're going to convert it into the metric or we're kind of going to take something in metric and convert it into US. So uh, here we're going to be converting feet into meters and then kilometers into miles and then kilograms into pounds. And here is our scale that we're going to be using for that. So um, I like to set up a proportion for this. There's definitely multiple ways where you can take this values where meet one meter equals this and you're either multiplying or dividing by that value. I, I know I screw that up too much. So um, I just set up a proportion and then I cross multiply and solve it. So uh, if I have feet to meters, I have 50 feet, one meter, and then I set it equal to my scale factor. And I'll just make sure that my meters is on the bottom. Oops, that's one meter. It's, we don't know how many meters. All right, and then I have my 3.2808 feet. All right, so then to solve that, <clears throat> I am going to cross multiply. So if I cross multiply, I'm going to do the work underneath here. Um, so I'm going to have 3.2808 times x, so that's this cross product, equals 1 times 50, times 50, and then I would divide by this 3.2808 Right. And then when I get that, um, I take 50 divided by that, and it turns out to be 15.24 meters. Um, and then just to double check where the directions want you to round to. Um, and then so if they were asking for two decimal places, we would go out to three decimal places to see what the two decimal place is. So do that real quick. So if we take 50 divided by 3.2808. So that zero is not going to do anything to the four, so it's 15.24. All right, next one. Um, 42 kilometers to miles. So we'll take 42 kilometers to one mile. And then when we set up our scale factor, we make sure we have kilometers on top. So one kilometer. And we did it again. We don't know how many miles. And then that is equivalent to 0.6214 miles. <clears throat> so if we cross multiply, we'll think of that one times that one, which is x. And then 42 times this one is going to be 42 times 0.6214 equals, and then we'll take that out two decimal places. So that eight is going to make that nine a 10, which actually makes it 26.10 miles. Okay. And then we got one more, same thing. We got 27 kilograms. So uh, we don't know how many pounds, get that right this time. Third time's a charm. Uh, and then we got one kilogram is equal to 2.2046 pounds. Cross multiply, one times X is X. And then 27 times that, 27 times 2.2046 is uh, so that four is not going to bump up that two so it's 59.52 and our label would be pounds okay so there's definitely other ways to do it um <coughs> i just find myself screwing up the multiplying and dividing part so i just set up proportions and i cross multiply and solve each time all right thanks